Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial on how to play Lethal Company in split-screen mode locally with your friends. We'll be using a software called Nucleus Co-op. First, Google Nucleus Co-op. Open the GitHub page titled splitscreen.me. Ensure you have Net Framework and Microsoft Visual C++ installed. Links will be in the description. As you can see, mine are already installed. Now download the installer file. Click on Run Anyway as the computer might not recognize this software. It's preferable to install the software in the main folder of one of your drives. I will install it under C and create a new folder named Nucleus. After installation, the newly created folder will open. We can create a desktop shortcut for launching the software and copy or move it there. Now, let's open the software. Next, go to your Steam library and find Lethal Company. Right-click on it, go into Properties, and browse to access the Games folder. Copy the directory path from the top. Let's go back to Nucleus. Click on Download Game Handler and search for Lethal Company. For more information, you can click this button. Now, install the handler. While searching for the games folder, paste the previously copied path and click on the .exe file. Our software is now ready. Before starting, I recommend opening the game normally and setting it to windowed mode for proper scaling. Now we can try it out. If you have more than one display, they will all be shown here. We can split one display to play split screen vertically or horizontally, or even into four parts for four players. You can also dedicate each display to one player, and so on. To start playing, drag the keyboard and mouse to one part of the screen. You might have to click a few times for the keyboard and mouse to be displayed here. Then, drag another controller to the other part of the screen. Now click play. It will take some time for the game to load and set up properly, so leave it alone. Once everything is loaded, Press the END key to lock the inputs. This is especially important if one of you is playing with mouse and keyboard. Once again, create a multiplayer session and connect to it in another instance. It can be a bit tricky to connect with a controller. Usually, it helps me to navigate to the right with the D-pad. Here's how the game looks in vertical split screen. And here's horizontal split screen. And here it is with four players. You might experience an issue where one instance runs smoothly while others lag. We can resolve this by limiting the FPS on all instances to 60 or 30, depending on your computer's performance, so the instances can share resources more effectively. If the game doesn't scale correctly or the mouse input isn't working properly, you might need to add custom resolutions for the game, as stated in the Information tab of the handler. To do this, open the NVIDIA control panel in the system tray or from the desktop. Navigate to change resolution. On the display you'll be playing on, click Customize and create a custom resolution. If you have a 1080p monitor, you can copy my settings. Otherwise, just divide the X and Y axis of your resolution by 2 to get the desired result. While doing this, your display resolution might glitch temporarily. Now, we have three custom resolutions if we want to split the screen for two or four players. And that's all for this tutorial guys. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See ya.